Karen Hall is Goering's um, country estate, which was built outside Berlin. It was also the primary repository for his art collection. It started off as a rather woodsy chalet, and it was very homey. It had a big fireplace, and it had a lot of stone built into it. But gradually, it grew in size, and he redecorated, and it became utterly opulent and ostentatious. It was added on to, and there were massive galleries, vast corridors with marble and tapestries and rugs and paintings and sculptures. I mean, we're talking about a collection of paintings alone that was probably about 1,700 paintings. As a comparison, that's more than the National Gallery of Art's European paintings collection. Historian Nancy Yidey is trying to compile the first complete inventory of Hermann Goering's art collection. One of Yidey's goals is to locate paintings looted by Goering that went missing after the war, including a small painting by Francois Boucher, stolen from André Seligman in Paris. Well, we were looking for this Boucher, and we were surprised to find an image on the Utah Museum of Fine Arts website that matched the lost Seligman Boucher. The Utah Museum had no idea that this was a confiscated and unrestituted picture. Well, I first became aware that the Boucher painting was found when a woman came to see me. And she said, we found a painting of yours, and uh, it's in a museum, and they're willing to cooperate. A painting stolen by Nazis and recovered in Utah is going home. The story coming up on 2 News. The museum's executive director calls it an important day. The art loss register provided evidence that we did not have rightful ownership, and on that basis, we initiated the decision to return the painting to the rightful heirs of Andre Seligman. Good morning. I'm the daughter of uh, Andre Seligman. This is a very emotional day for me. Um, we are very excited to get this painting uh, from the museum. And they have been really, I can only use the word adorable <laughs> about this. Are you ready? One, two, three. You know, my father um, would have wanted me to have this painting. And um, it's just a shame that uh, he didn't live to see any of this going on. Well, I was a, a little sad when I began to think about returning the painting. It's been an important part of uh, our permanent exhibits. But I also saw the larger uh, moral responsibility. We can't make amends for the millions of lives that were taken, but we can do something, you know, simple, Thank you. return something stolen and confer a, a little humanity back on all of us.